Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays where we are building the city of Verde Beach and I am super excited today. You are looking at Mulligan International Airport. It is by far one of my favorite builds in this entire series, but today we're going to improve it by getting rid of it. <laughs> That's because the airport's DLC has just been released. And the fact that this build is running is really a testament to the modder community and the community as a whole surrounding this game. Bloody Penguin updated this mod. There was an issue and he fixed it same day. How amazing is that? Uh, so huge shout out to Bloody Penguin, huge shout out to every single modder in the community and uh, to Paradox for continuing to improve this game year after year. That said, I took the opportunity to upgrade my mod list and improve things a bit, and I brought in the Tree Anarchy mod, which has improved my load times pretty significantly over, uh, I'm not sure if I had Trees Unlimited or something. I, I, I had another mod. Anyway, Tree Anarchy is the one that's most recommended at this point, and I brought it into the build. It has improved things, but it requires this right here. Move it. So move it is in the build, and I'm not gonna use it, because this is a vanilla build, except for one small thing. So I am going to use it to delete this island. <laughs> so that's going to be the one thing I use it for, just because it's it's really a quality of life thing. If you guys want me to use it more, let me know in the comments. I know there are very mixed emotions on that, so I'm not going to go in, in, into, into using that in this particular build. So there's a lot happening here. And so there's all the surface level stuff that you see at Mulligan International Airport. But then there's also the below ground stuff. So where I want to start is disconnecting all of this at gray or all of the underground stuff first. So we're just gonna go mode by mode and delete things. Uh, Cause I don't, I don't want to have icons popping up. So whenever you're gonna do something like this, this should be the very first thing to do so you don't go crazy. So we'll get rid of that little looping line that didn't do anything. We'll get rid of this downtown line, pop down here, sever one of those connections so that it is a full route. Then we'll move on to our trains. We've got one train line down here. Get rid of that. Come over to its station. It's right here. And I think I want to get rid of this bottom one. So it's up here. So we're on different tracks. So I uh, also pay attention to where these lines are going because that's going to be really important. This one pops underground, then comes over here and leaves town. And this is the line that came to the airport. So that's one of our lines coming here. We also above ground have two coming in here, one going into the airport, another going around to the harbor, and then this one coming and going back out to the city. So a lot of things going on here. Uh, let's see what else we have. So we also have ferries. So we're going to need to do some temporary relocations. The ferries being one of those things we're going to need to relocate. So first of all, I don't want this stop to be here anymore. So we'll close that one up. Now this ends here downtown in the Harbor District, but we need to move our ferry depot, otherwise that won't work. So we'll just temporarily relocate this along the beach, bring some terrible water pipes. And while I'm thinking about it, I know that we have got power. Yeah, that's, well, we have quite a bit of overhead. Let's look at this. Okay, 480. So between the two of these, it's a thousand. This is half of our power. We've got to save this. We'll get this back to the island when we're done with it. And this will need a road and a water connection. And I'm going to make sure these are operational before I leave them. There we go. We're good. Power still good. And then we have a few other things over here. We've got helicopters and we have that no power over here. So that's, that's a thing. <laughs> so... Helicopters, we'll get rid of this stop. And I think now we've basically gotten rid of everything here. So the moment has come. It's time to say goodbye to Mulligan International Airport. And to use our first mod in the build, select and gone. Or something like that. <laughs> it, uh, it, we got rid of some stuff. Mulligan International Airport and the Mulligan District are officially gone. So now we get to bring in the DLC. So the first thing we need to do is paint a district. So I want to be very careful about my heights. So I think I'm going to use the height from over here. This was too low. It flooded all the time. It was a disaster. We don't, we don't want to do that again. So let's grab our top height here, spread it out. And this is where I'm going to start my new airport district. 
So we will just start it here. Let's move it around. So if you were wondering how much money I was going to spend on terraforming, you now know the answer. That is all of it. So now we just need to let the water clear out and we'll be ready to get started on our build. And it takes a little while for that water to clear up, but we're finally there. So let's get moving and let's talk about our plan because we have one. We have to. This is a very large project. We've reclaimed an area that's approximately the size of downtown. So we can't just go into this without a plan. So let's look right here. So we know that all of the freight connections are coming in over here. So this is where we want to have our freight airport. Over here, we have our highway connection. That's gonna be a great spot to tee into our terminal. And I really would love to have some runways that are at least, uh, I wanna say a half a mile long, thereabouts. Um, so I believe that's about 800 meters. So if each tile is eight meters and it's 800, we want it to be at least 100 tiles long. And I wanna have two of them at a minimum. So I'm styling this off from an airport that is very prominent and I'm, I'm curious in the comments, let me know as I build this, if you can figure out which airport it is. Very first thing though, let's rename this. There we go. So it gives us our checklist. We need to build our airport terminal, our aircraft stand and our runway. So let's do the very first of those. We need to figure out what design we want. So we have this classic design, uh, you know, it's fine. Then we have this modern airport terminal like that more and then we have this ultra modern eh, it, it's okay but I, I think I like this one the most now my I have a goal for this build and that is to not redo things too much so let's see if I can actually accomplish that so with that in mind let's give ourselves room to grow in the future I'm gonna pop this back a ways and that unlocks everything that we need to get started from hangars to hotels, parked planes, car, control towers, airport bus station, and an aircraft stand. You guys have probably heard me go over this before, so I won't, uh, <laughs> I won't belabor the issue. But we're, go we're going, we're moving. And I'm going to let the game run at a fairly moderate clip this entire time because we are going to need the money. We are going to spend the money. So I'm going to turn off road guidelines here just to make a simple loop. And then I'm going to turn it back on because I want to find the middle. We'll come down maybe 20 tiles. This isn't permanent, but it's going to be good for now. And now I can get rid of my guide road. And this is what I'm going to use to tee into the highway. Let's pull this back. Bring this in about 20. Same thing on this side. Let's make our connections. Okay, so this is the basic layout I want. You can loop back around and that's about it. And then we'll upgrade these to highways. We'll get our power and water here. I'm not gonna get it super specific with that right now. We're gonna redo that. We are gonna get super specific with this. You can see Mulligan International and we are uh, significantly bigger. This is not the final shape of this island. I'm okay selling back soil. We've got to take some liberties and I'd much rather have too much space up front, then flood the island out repeatedly. <laughs> so, we'll see. Maybe this is enough, maybe it's not. We're probably going to need a little more, my guess. Okay, so there we go. We have a con or we have a terminal. What are we going to do next? I want to extend the concourse out. We're going to go, let's turn our snap tubes back on. I'm going to go about 20 tiles out, so that's 2,200. There we go. And now I want to do something interesting here. Let's let's liven this up a bit. So we'll come here. I wonder if we can connect in. Nope. Not not at 10 units. Be eight. Nope. There we go. That is a magic number. 1980. It is not the magic number. <laughs> I was just kidding. <laughs> That's the ma that's one of the magic numbers. That's a little bigger than I was hoping. Let's see if we can get the, a little bit tighter. All right, there we go. That's 320. 
or 13, 13, 20 rather. And that gets us this, which I really like. From here, I wanna make sure we're lining this up nicely. So some guidelines, burn a little bit of cash. There we go. So this is the basic shape. And one of the reasons I wanted this shape is our modern large terminal will really slot into this nicely in the future. So let's get to building our runways. It's the most important part of the airport so far. The terminal's important, but the runways are gonna stick with us. So I'm gonna come out, let's go out another 20. And then I wanna pull this up at least 100 units, probably a little more. Why don't we pull it back? And then I'll go to the corner here, and then I'll go back my 100. Interesting, so I'm running into something there, and I know exactly what it is. So I didn't delete my ferry routes. So you need to delete those, otherwise you can't build. <laughs> so there we go. That solves that. And there's our runway situation. So you can see that we've dramatically over, over uh, reclaimed land over here. So let's go ahead and we're gonna pull some of that back. Now I use the landscaping tool, so that does not clean up my district. I will need to fix that. There we go. Again, we need to let this clear out. Okay, so this is probably good enough for me to start thinking. So I know that if I were to go ahead and build our runway back here with this line in place, it will not build the end of our runway. So I'm gonna cut this off here. So I want two runways and I want them to, to depart in different directions. So knowing the car goes over here, knowing that we have rail lines, I think that I want the planes over here to take off this way, the land in this side and they'll hopefully have enough height to not hit any rail that we have here. If we go the other way, when they're landing, they would be potentially clipping the rail. Over here, we shouldn't have that issue. So they're gonna take off the other direction out towards the ocean. So we'll build our runways. And if we click right here, we can see that we just need an aircraft stand and a runway to get this thing going. So I'll come over here into landing area and aircraft stands and click on my runway tool. Now for this, it's interesting. For runway, it takes away the snap twos and all that stuff. I'm gonna click on the taxiway and I'll get rid of road guidelines because I don't care at all about them. I care about the grid. So I'm gonna come over here. What I really wanna do is line this up really nicely with the grid. There we go. And I'll do the exact same thing over here. So those should be identical. The planes will go up over here because I started on the opposite end and they'll do the opposite over here. These are exactly in line. If I want to double check those, I just find the node, turn my road guidelines back on. There's my node, come directly over. There's my node over here, my node. There we go. Perfectly square. I can get rid of this guideline now. Not at all concerned with it. And I'm guessing that these little bits of landscaping are triggering you as much as they're triggering me, so I'll get rid of them. <laughs> All right, so now we have this. What do we do? What do we do next? Well, what I'm thinking is I want to make sure that this is the right length. So I'm a bit concerned. And then we're going to basically mirror the same thing that we've done over here. Maybe that's too long. It could be too long. So these are, for me, are just guidelines. And this is approximately 200. So I'll come up to here and I'm just making some guidelines for myself. So what I'm trying to do now is take this, line it up with this guideline here and my 200 line. And actually it's pulling me at a perfect 90. So I don't even need to worry about this. I could actually pull this. That's 1540, 1540, but that's interestingly not going to be enough is what it's telling me, but that doesn't look even. Hmm. Well, we're gonna have to see if that's even it's, it's really difficult to tell. That's the same. Oh, what is that? That is monorail. And thankfully deleting the airport hasn't tanked the economy. <laughs> In reality, I don't know that I would be so certain that that would be the outcome, but we'll roll with it. <laughs> so here we go. We've got our little airport 
we need to connect our runways to our uh, terminal on our concourse. So let's pop back in here and I'm going to click on this and we'll grab a small aircraft stand, make that visible for ourselves. And what I'm going to do is find the first place that's pretty even. And I'm going to line these up with the edge of the pavement. Now these assets have a great deal of flexibility, but for me, that makes the most sense right now. I want to be able to to, to really do quite a bit here and uh, kind of choose my own destiny. Uh, so what I'm doing is trying to figure out what is going to line up the, the best for me. And I can figure out the side of the pavement and now it's a nice solid block. So that to me is easy. So here I have all of my guidelines. I'm going to pop down three to give myself enough space. So one, two, three. Just lining up with those guidelines there. Do the exact same thing here, but I'm going to pop down two. Let's mirror that on the other side as well. Okay, so here's where we're entering. And I, I want these reversed, truthfully. Actually, I don't know that I do. So this would be easy to, to, to leave without crossing all that much. So I think we might just keep it like this. And then I'll use my guidelines to connect up. So you will have to play with the guidelines quite a bit to make everything work. That's just a part of the DLC, something we've just got to live with. So uh, made that work there. We need to make sure that we have water up uh, working here. There we go. And for the airport, we're going to pretend that this is a private pipe there, which could go underneath the building or more, more likely inside the building. Not a big deal. So let's mirror our our uh, taxiways on the other side. Okay, so I think all of our directionality is correct here. We were mirroring the directionality of the runway with our taxiway, so I'm gonna do that over here as well and then loop this back around. There we go, and then the last thing I wanna do is make a connection between these two. It'll act as a guideline for me in the future, and I like it right now. So there we go. Now we're in a good spot, I think. And I'm uh, this to me looks uneven, so I think I'm going to call a mulligan on it. We'll figure this out in a more precise way in just a moment. So now we should be on our way to getting passengers, uh, but as far as attractiveness goes, we don't really have much going. I'm going to fudge this one. So I'm going to go into policies and enable hotel discounts. That gives us our attractiveness. I just want to get past this small concourse. We are already not living in reality. <laughs> we just blasted away the whole airport. So I think it's okay to take some liberties here as well. As I look at these runways, I'm a little curious. Did I count wrong? It may, it's making me wonder if it's I'm a little short. Nope, we're at 100. So now we're just waiting for a plane to take off. You see people driving up here. Let's see if we have any flights established yet. There's one active flight there, none anywhere else. So I just want to double check my directionality. We're good. You could come out of here, come back around, come up here, fly out. Over here, it is the same thing. So you should be able to operate. We just need to be patient. Hey, hey, there we go. We've got our first flight and let's see 39 people there, 50 right there. That's going to help us. Now it's just a bit of a waiting game to get to our 500 passengers. We're already at 125 apparently. So it should, we should reach 500 fairly quickly. And we might as well take the first flight out of town at our new airport. It's not beautiful, but it's working. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully we don't rock it straight up into the air. Hey, a nice smooth flight. And uh, one of the things about the new DLC is that the flight paths have been refined and you can kind of feel it. Normally you'd see a whole bunch of circling, at least in the previous build. And now it's, it's going somewhere. It's going somewhere. I like it looking good. And that's what we care about at this point. Just getting our, passenger count as high as it can be as quickly as possible. Wow, we have some rail things going on. So another thing that was fixed in this build 
uh, was some of our loading on our, our, our on our freight. So it's supposed to have, or rather, on our on our passenger trains. So I'm curious if I can find a passenger train heading out of town. I want to see how full they are because that's supposed to be they're supposed to be fairly full. Here's one. Ooh, well, there might be some time that we need to let pass for this to resolve. It wasn't this bad before. I'm not sure. You know, I did just delete the airport, so. <laughs> Maybe that's part of it. And we're at 310. We're getting there. We're getting there. Or we're waiting to level up. I have a bit of inspiration. So we'll see how this is going to work. But what I want to do, I'm going to extend this concourse out. And I'm still very fixated on this idea coming in at an angle. So I'm going to use this guideline here. So I'm thinking that angles actually not being helpful. There's 1870. That's not a perfect 90. That doesn't look right. <laughs> I think I'm... Oh, oh, and as I tried to click the button, the congratulations screen came up. We are a level 2 airport. We get a lot of cool stuff. So I'm excited about this, but I'm also frustrated that it <laughs> did that to me. Turn our angle back on. Let's, let's just listen to the game. It's very insistent that it must be longer. It's funny. It, it's clearly not. And it lets me make that angle. It still looks off, but it's 45. I think it's just a... It might just be a some sort of optical illusion. So the reason I care so much about this is I want to add on a few more of these small stands. So look at that. It fits perfectly. I'm going to extend this out just a bit further. There we go. Now, we're going to have to change our runway configuration to get this to really work well. But I look at that as a positive. And the funny thing is, this will cause me to reverse my directionality. Not a big deal, but just a thing. And now the directionality makes sense again. Over here, let's get it working as well. And actually, over here, maybe it... No, no, it doesn't make sense. Because we want to make sure they can leave and get back to the taxi stand. Or get back to their aircraft stand. There we go. So, we need to get water out to this as well. There we go. Now, I probably shouldn't get bogged down here because we're about to destroy a whole bunch of stuff. So, basically everything. Let's get rid of this. We'll even pause it for a minute. I don't want this anymore, but I don't want to destroy everything. So let's see what we can do. So we have this, and I can't just pop it in there. That's not going to work. If I had anarchy, maybe, but it's not, not without it. So I'm going to delete this, and we'll see how closely I can line this up. So it looks like I have to lose two aircraft stands to make it work. I don't have any guidelines, so I'm eyeballing this. That's 180, that's perfect. That's 136, that's not perfect, but 180 over there, wow. That's pretty much as good as I'm gonna do by eyeballing it. So I'm really, really pleased with that. So now we've got some questions about what to do here. And what we're gonna start with, I think, is dirt roads. So let's go ahead, we'll find our middle. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did before come down we'll say we'll, we'll say to there and then I'll come out to here I want to go a little bit beyond that so that we can get a nice angle on this so I wasn't quite pleased with how this was working so I'm giving myself another guideline and then I'll turn my road guidelines back on and use the two of these to come up with something really nice there we go. Nice smooth lines. And then we're going to change this. We had this little situation here. Uh, we're going to have a roundabout now. So I think that that's going to be a better solution for us. You're going to see why in a while. It's not going to be readily apparent immediately. But after a little while, I think you're going to get it. Uh, basically, we, we've got two heights here. And I think that with a roundabout, I'm going to be able to connect the two roundabouts and hopefully bring the heights together. I don't want the two heights to seem totally arbitrary, the two heights of the terminal, I want it to, to have a purpose. So we're going to try to focus on that as well. So I've done the exact same thing here that I did before. And what I'm trying to do is, is bring this down 
basically so that they mirror one another. So I'm selecting that midpoint to be that node there. And then I'm using the grid to line things up. And I'll get rid of that. I might even back this out one on each and then connect up with my roundabout. Wherever it makes logical sense for that endpoint. And then we'll connect up over here as well. There we go. That is going to be nice. Now, why a roundabout? Well, you can loop back around if you want. Plus, we're going to make a bridge. So I want a bridge connection. We have we have monorail over here. We're going to get rid of that. I don't think we're going to bring monorail to the airport. We're going to have other modes of transportation. What's why do one more um, at this point? It's not really supported by this DLC. So I will make the controversial decision to not bring it here. Let me know in the comments how you feel about this. I'm happy to change it potentially if uh, if there's enough support for monorail. So I want to bring a bridge across here, but I know that this came out in the in the in the previous build because of the, the depth of the water. We're going to get a weird bridge where we have some supports here and I don't want that. So I'm going to raise the heights here, pull this back out. And now when I come across with that bridge, it'll be flat. If I wanted the supports, I would lower this height to wherever I wanted the supports to start. But for me, it just doesn't make a ton of sense. I'm going to pull this up one, but I think I want this to line up nicely. Let's line this up nicely with the train. There we go. There's a bit of a dip there. I think we're going to need to clean that up just a bit. And this will dip. It's not going to be exactly the same, but I just want the dip to feel a bit more natural. Yeah, that is nice and smooth. So the reason I want this is this is going to be our other connection. So let's pull this in. And from here, we're going to have a roundabout. We're going to have so many roundabouts. It's going to be beautiful by the time it's done. So in here, I'm just making a little cross going into my freeform tool and just coming around. And then from here, we're going to bring this down. And we'll stop this because I want to mirror this connection up here. And one of the interesting things I've found is that you can't actually connect a dirt road up up top. So we've got to use. We've got to actually end up using our normal roads. So there's our connections there. And what we're going to do with these is come down into another roundabout. We'll dump these into the roundabout. So we'll cross over. And then I want another roundabout here. I'll connect the two. And that will be how our concourses are connected. So let's get that going. One more roundabout down here. And I found that road guidelines can be really messy here. So it's you're going to have to turn them on and off. And then we'll bring this through, connect up there. This one will reach right down into here. Nice smooth connection. And then another one here. And then we need this to also connect up with our roundabout. There we go. So I know there's a lot going on. It's really confusing, but let's we'll get this upgraded. And I think it's going to make a ton of sense. One one way connection through. Or two way connection through and then one way here. Right towards the airport. And it's going to prevent us from upgrading some of this stuff. And that's OK. We'll get it fixed eventually. And as I say it, I make an impossible <laughs> to fix turn. So we'll need to focus on this one again. So free form can be really helpful here. So we'll come around. So one more place to upgrade, and that is up to our ground floor of our terminal. I'm 
actually going to upgrade this to a highway. I think you can make the argument that it's a terrible idea. And I might agree with you <laughs> because of the speeds. But we're going to go with it anyway. We'll see what happens. It's really upset with me because of these crosses. So we'll just take them out and hope for the best. And probably upgrade some stuff that shouldn't be upgraded. <laughs> Okay, so now things should be, for the most part, functional and operational so long as I get the power there. Okay, and I don't love this height here. It kind of just drops down abruptly. It's right there. I just love to move that down just a little bit. Uh, there's a way to do this in vanilla, though. So we're going we're gonna to give it a go. Wow. Look at all those cars streaming out. So let's get rid of this. This is pretty straight, so I can drop it down one. And then we'll use the curved road tool to make our connection. That's better. Now that now there's some descent. That's that's better. We've got a flood. Interesting. So I like this a lot. Let's extend this around here. And I, I want to explain my logic here. So my line of thinking is that right here, you're coming down the highway. You're probably coming from other parts of Verde Beach. You're getting the main terminal in the bottom. Over here, you're coming from downtown. Because otherwise, you're popping through here. You're doing lots of crazy stuff. So I'm guessing if we take a look, that's what's going to play out. These are longer trips. Now here, those are shorter trips. Or it's people looping around. <laughs> that's that's bizarro world to me, but I guess it's happening. Either way, there's a logic for the two different junctions, and you could use it, I guess, like that person's using it to hop around. So now we are at a point where our passenger count is almost high enough to get to the nowhere oh, to get to level two. <laughs> we, we drop down because of our attractiveness. So let's do more here. So I want to get us to level three. That's my goal. We, we need to get to level three. We're not going to build our cargo airport today, but I want this to be a very attractive airport. So let's go ahead and start to build some things that make it prettier. So we'll go into our decorations and let's build an airport lounge. They're different colors. How wonderful. <laughs> we'll, we'll deal with that. I'm sure that we could. There's another one. Oh, and it's not gonna let me see it. I've gotta, gotta, I gotta experiment. There we go. That's pretty close. Both red. That's a okay in my book. So I want to decorate back here. We're gonna have some park planes. I want it to look like it's functional, but it's not gonna be, and that's okay. So we will grab some of the parked planes. I'm gonna start down here, cause I don't exactly know where to meet probably as good as it gets and then ah, we'll go we'll come into here and we will look at our roads and let's send a road back here so to get this to work i'll need to delete the taxiways and recreate them with nodes in the right spot that works just swell though and the directionality of this doesn't quite matter yet. I've got some ideas for in between here. I'm just adding some redundancy here so that you could, you could get around in multiple ways. So I'll add the exact same thing here. And I'm going out again that two, just for consistency's sake. There we go. So the reason I wanted to do that is we're going to have some decorations back here. And what I'm thinking is that it would be a very good spot to have some fueling pumps. Or fueling, uh, let's see, what is this? The, the, the aviation fuel station. So I want to keep these away from the runway if I can. And we will also have some hangars over here. So I'm going to have, we had a path. Well, first of all, let's add a taxiway. Okay, 
Okay, so now I want to make sure that our directionality is different than the other side. There we go. And we're going to add the hangers in here as well. So let's grab those. There we go. And now we have some other spaces over here where we could add in some more parked airplanes if we wanted to. Continuing to level up our decoration. So medium's not quite big enough. I think I might wait for large. So now that we have this, what do we do next? So our attractiveness there is there. We're waiting for passenger count. So I'd love to have something over here. The one thing that we haven't really used is transit. Uh, we have a metro station and a bus station. I think I want the bus station on this side. It'll have a bit more synergy with some of the things that we're already doing over here. We've got roads, and over here, we're going to have our metro station. Although, actually, no, we're going to wait for a train station, because we have our train track right there. Metro's over here, so we're going to wait on that. We're just not going to have that just yet. So, now that we have this, what do we do with this? Well, I've got a couple of ideas. Let's pull this down. We'll make a spot for our, air, for our uh, hotels. But how do you get here? And <laughs> I think we need some sort of ramp here, which is going to be interesting. Let's build that with our dirt roads. This is going to break everything, so I'm going to pause it as much as I hate to do that. Let's... I don't want to pause it because we want to get passengers. We're going to make a temporary power line. And then we'll continue to resume it. So I think having some sort of ramp here to divert off into this area with pedestrian paths would be very effective. So that's what we're gonna try to do. So let's see, we'll find a guideline here. We'll use the free form tool, raise it up. And we might need to get a bit closer. One, two, three. So I think that the grid is actually hurting us at this point, so I'll turn the grid off. Road length might be as well. So I want to give myself at least one tile back to work with. This is a, just a, a really tricky connection. I'm going to try with a normal road and see if that helps. There we go. That is exactly what I was looking for. Now I'll turn all the snap tubes back on. Let's see if we can lower this some. I'm even going to turn this in. So there we go. And now it's just a matter of connecting this up with either side. So I'm going to use the free form tool for that. I'll find something nice in the middle. That's a pretty good connection. Let's mirror this on this side. Except for our height, apparently. <laughs> so we've got to go up three here. And then we'll again curve in. Nice connection. Now let's get this upgraded so that it makes some sense. So you come out there and you leave here. Oh, that is brutal. Does not like it. There we go. That's a better connection. So now it's a matter of being able to make our final connection and it's just not liking it. And again, it's my guidelines that bail me out. So I'm able to make this work because I've utilized my road guidelines. There we go. So this is a, there's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. But I think we need this to keep things moving. So let's get some hotels placed back here. So we're going to be able to pull this coast in quite a bit at some point in the future. So let's see how many I can fit in the, in the space that I've created. So I'll place a couple of hotels right there, and then we'll add in a path. Set this to grid only. And what a great spot for some of our new trees. There we go. That is beautiful. The water is not so beautiful. The, the lack of water will get that fixed as well. Okay, so this place is now operational. So we have... 
Attractiveness is plenty high to get to the next level and we're almost at our next threshold. And I think what we're gonna do is make sure that all of this stuff is working. There we go. Looking good there. I'm gonna pull in this a bit because I want to put a luxury hotel right on the water and we're anything but at the water. So let's pull this in a bit. And I'll grab the terrain height from over here and just pull it right in. And then we'll feather this back a bit just to make it look a little bit more natural. We should also fix our district. We've got to be very careful with this one because if we need to expand, it's going to raise that height up again. So there we go. Now they're at the coast. Everyone's happy. I might just, I might replace these with some parked planes. They're a bit extreme. Uh, maybe I'm just not doing it right. <laughs> I don't know. Why don't you guys let me know what you think? Okay, and we're finally at level three. And the reason I'm so excited is we get the train stations, we get the cargo airport, we get the aviation museum, and most importantly, we get the airline headquarters. So we can actually make some money from this whole endeavor. So very important stuff here. I want to finish out though with laying out our cargo, our, our, our passenger airport. This is something that I've, I've kind of left up and we want to do a couple of things. So first of all, let's add a control tower. Now I think that I've been misunderstanding the way that these are supposed to be laid out. Hopefully I get it right now. So uh, they want to be able to see both, both of the runways. Maybe we even do two. I, I, I really can't stand the way that these look. <laughs> We're going to call a mulligan on these. And I'm going to mirror something like this over here. So what I'm going to do, I want this modern concourse. And we'll add that right here. And what we're going to do is just pull this back. I'd love to get this to be really straight. There we go. I don't know that that's straight. Let, let me do the math. It is not. It's not centered. So let's figure out how we can center this. Let's give that another shot. So we'll come through here. I want to place a road. So 3480 approximately. So half of that would be 1740, which is not a number. It's approximately right there. So now we will place our hub and I will do my best to line it up right there. And that will have to be good enough. I don't know that I can get it any, any better than that. So I want to have the medium and the large flights over here and maybe even line some things up back here. So I think we're going to change this just a bit. So we'll come in here and let's see how big this medium stand is. Pretty big. Yeah, I think we're going to line up with mediums over here. One final small. No, no, we won't do it. And then we'll have the large along the back. Now, interestingly, these aren't going to line up <laughs> because, because nothing is that simple. So we'll need to give this some thought. So I'm going to start with the easy ones. And that's on the other side. I think the medium stands just lined up a little bit better. So those are good. I think technically we could use another path in the opposite direction, but they can come this way as well. That works just fine. We, if we wanted to get really technical with it, we could probably go ahead, add some paths here to let some circulation occur. Maybe I will. Although the circulation doesn't perfectly line up. So I am going to scrap that. It's fine. And then over here, we use our road guidelines. I will try my best 
to get these to line up. So this is how I can tell my concourse isn't perfectly straight. And it's fine, it's just, it's just one of those things. So I'll turn only my road grid on and that helps me compensate a bit. I just need to figure out which one bugs me the least. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the one that bugs me the least. Uh, it's not bigger than it's supposed to be, a little bit, a little bit smaller. So I'll go with that. And then we will bring this back around, make our connections. I've got a few of them to make. And then I want to add a couple more connections through here. I want to be able to have some of these planes loop back around. Otherwise, they're circulating in, in long patterns, potentially for no reason. So just adding a couple of cut throughs, I think it's really beneficial. Okay, so I've played whack-a-mole and I think that we are in a good spot. I think everything's lining up really well. The airport seems fully operational with the exception of the lack of water serving some of these buildings. So we'll get that fixed. There we go. Now I want to make a connection with the subway. So that's one of the perks of having this particular, uh, if, we, if we add in the concourse hub is that we can make a subway connection between these. So we're going to do that right now. Nice smooth connection right there. And Let's make a connection up with our existing subway. There we go. So we can make that route connect at our airport again, which is gonna feel so good. We will bring this one just to here, and then we'll have a separate airport line just to come back and forth. Look at that, perfect. We'll come back over here. We've gotta make sure we have stops. So I think I just removed those and we could even take a look. Let's take a look. Is this the mulligan line? It's green. Oh, I'm, I'm in the wrong spot. There we go. So this is the airport shuttle. And this is actually airport Hamilton. So I'm curious. That's a very busy line. Got some backups. We can use our new. Huh? interesting. I don't know if a couple of assets snuck through, but we have our Airport Express Metro, which I'm gonna use. It's a bit faster, carries another 30 passengers. That's gonna help us. I wanna finish out with a bit of detailing. We're gonna do a ton more with this airport, but right now I'm in a, I'm in a very, very happy place with this right now. And uh, I'm gonna add a couple of things. Some clues for next time. First, here's our train station. We're gonna wanna focus on this in the next one. We might extend this concourse out. I'm not 100% sure yet, but having that train station there, it, it's, it's gonna be along this concourse. Next, we never made a pedestrian connection between the hotels and the airport. That is a miss. We're gonna need to fix that. And I still have this stuff over there. We're gonna leave it there because we haven't placed our key walls up yet. We're definitely going to do that. But that's not a now thing. That's a next episode thing. Um, and then I want to place a couple of a couple more parked planes right here. Let's see what else we could do. We don't need to fill in every square inch. I think that we are in a good spot with that. But there's one last thing I want to do, and that is replace some of these trees. We have the ability now. And we can just come up here, drag the tree into the road, and look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love this so much. So we'll just pull that through and make this look like a much nicer place. That is wonderful. So we've got a good start here. I think we're gonna leave it here, uh, but, but we do need to pop in and take a look at this beautiful tree because we need a city tour. And actually, let's pump the brakes on that tour for a minute. I was looking at this and I just couldn't help shake that these runways feel too short. So I did a little bit of research and I currently have these at approximately 800 meters. So the shortest runway in a commercial airline that you'd see is about 
2,500 meters, and they can go all the way up to about 4,000. So that's 8,000 feet or 13,000 feet. So this isn't gonna work. And I don't think I want it to be that long, otherwise we would touch the edge of the map. But I do think we can go double the length of this. So I'm gonna come here, and I'm gonna extend this out another 100 units. And you know what that means. Time to buy even more soil. And more time letting this work out. <laughs> oh, okay, so, so this wasn't ideal. <laughs> we, uh, we now have a destroyed airport. Thankfully, the things that have destroyed are basically just prop planes. Oh, and I guess the concourse. Uh, and yeah, so there are some things. <laughs> So that's one of the reasons why it's great to, to not <laughs> expand your island. But it's it's what we had to do. So you, you live and learn. So I want to mark this off. So this is the end. So we're going to end it. We're going to start it down here. We're going to be... Let's mark this down here. We want, it, we want a start point for ourselves. There we go. So now I can get rid of these and we're going to do the tough work of actually building this. So let's go ahead and do so. And man, we have a whole lot less money than we used to. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. That is much longer. And I think that's much better. We'll do the exact same thing down here. And now we just need our connections in. So this one should be the same to get in. But to leave, we're gonna need to really extend this out now. Yeah, that's that's a lot better. And let's clean up some of my markings. Okay, so what that tells me is we now have a lot of room to, to fill in, which I think is great. I'm not at all concerned about that. So uh, what I'm gonna do though, before we get too far ahead is, I know that we're not done with this yet. We're going to we're going to do some things here to make it look a little better. But I just want to smooth this out just a bit for my own peace of mind. I think it looks pretty bad right now. Okay, and the water's still making its way around the map, but things look a ton better. This to me looks like a more realistic runway length and now the airport is absolutely massive. You compare this to downtown and it's basically the same. It is one of the biggest things in the city, and it's a DLC, so that makes sense. Uh, so with that, I do think we need to take a look at, oh, those are some cool planes, and now we'll have our city tour. Okay, so we still have a number of things we need to do here. Obviously, we haven't hooked up our transit lines. We don't have a cargo airport. And uh, we, we have a lot of uh, harbors. And we want to get our key walls up and add a lot of detail into here. But this is a pretty darn good start. Uh, ooh, the, this is maybe not the greatest start. Let's get rid of get rid of this. Now it's a better start. So we've got a lot of things to do here, but but I think we're in a good... We've got a good solid foundation. So And it took us multiple days to build... Uh, uh, the old airport so why wouldn't it take us multiple to build this one so i hope that you've enjoyed this episode if you did please hit the like button if you aren't subscribed please consider doing so and i will see you in the next one take care bye, -bye.